Good morning guys, welcome back to another day, welcome back to another vlog. We are in Kathmandu this morning and we're actually heading over to Pokhara today. We're flying there with uh, Yeti Airlines. So I'm just gonna go get a coffee, get a taxi, and then we are gonna head to the domestic airport here. So there's a few ways you can get to Pokhara. You can actually take a bus there from Kathmandu. You would leave at about 7.30 in the morning and it takes, you know, seven, eight hours. But we actually decided to fly because the flight's only 25 minutes and we'll basically get a full day back in, in Pokhara, which we want to explore. We want to like, you know, dive a bit deeper into Pokhara. Good stuff, we got our morning coffee. Got a little uh, Americano. And this is a great little coffee shop. It's actually really good coffee and it's just right beside our hostel, Hostel Yog. So it's called Himalayan Arabica Beans in Thamel. I got a taxi just at the corner of the street from the hostel and it's 800 rupee up to the domestic airport. Seems like a fair enough price for two people and yeah we should get there in about 20 minutes from Thamel. When I was younger, my cousins had a dog called Soxy, and it was like a little white Shih Tzu dog. And they were brought over to our house one day, and it was like, started barking at me, and like our house was like a kind of a circle, like a corridor thing, but you could like go around the whole corridor. And then it was like chasing me around this circle, like around the corridors. And as it was chasing me, it was diarrhea shitting. And so it was like chasing me and shitting around the whole house. And ever since then, I was like eight. I've been scared. <laughs> it was like pooing around the whole house. My mom got so angry. Um, so you hit shitty shih tzus. I hate shitty shih tzus, but it was like literally diarrhea. Oh, what's it called? It was called Soxy. Soxy the shitty shih tzus. Yeah, and my mom was just so furious. And then I kept running around the house and the dog kept not chasing after me. So it kept shitting. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I don't really like those types of dogs. Oh my god. Push me, baby, let's go to the edge. See what Mother Nature brought us today. Yeah, yeah. I like it through your lens. I'll take my. There we go. Landed in Pokhara. Nice little 20 minute flight. Yeah. Not too bad. Nothing to be worried about. Nothing to be scared about. We'll get through, get our bike, and then we'll make our way over to the next hostel. Much better than driving. So much better than driving. It was either that 20 minute flight or 7 8 hour bus ride from Kathmandu. We made it into the taxi outside the airport. We got the taxi for 400 rupees. <laughs> Thank and you. it's a 15 minute ride into, into town. What's your name? My name's James. Okay, nice to meet you, Jamsa. Nice to meet you. I'm Mike. Mike, nice to meet you, Mike. Okay, nice to meet you, Jamsa. See you, I'm Mickey. Mickey, nice to meet you, Mickey. I'm Mike. Mike and Mickey. Mike and Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. We made it to Zostel in Pokhara. So we're just going to get checked in. Um, Okay, so we're a little bit early for check-in, so we're just gonna keep our bags here until they clean up our room, and then we can get in and get checked in. But we're gonna have a little wander around, check out the Zosta. Amazing, thank you. You can ask me about like activity, trekking and all, no problem, okay? Yeah. Perfect, thanks a lot. I'll be here in property. Easy, thanks mate. Oh, here we go, nice bed. What do you think the shower's like? Cool. There we go. They love a toilet shower. Yeah. Such a cool little spot, the Crazy Gecko. And it's got like a pretty chill, like got like Bob Marley posters, like Rasta feel. Super relaxed, everyone's just hanging out by the lake. Got these little tree huts up here where we're sitting, and then you can come down here. You've got a view of the lake and the mountains in the back. Super cool little chill out spot. So, we just ordered some food, we ordered loads, and then um, we're just gonna basically chill out here, relax, just taking the views. So, we got some chips, they're called chili chips, but they're actually chips cooked in um, tomato ketchup, and they look phenomenal. Phenom, phenom.com. <laughs> 
This is so good. This is the best dish I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying now. I've had tomato sauce. Who would have thought the humble chip? Okay, after getting the buffalo trailer last night, we got some mushroom trailer. And it comes with the flat rice. And we got some chili chicken. And the piece de resistance. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you did enjoy the video. And I will see you tomorrow for another day in Pokhara. Good night. We had a pretty rough night last night. I was sick last night. Had an upset stomach. Probably from maybe the chicken that I had yesterday. Uh, and there was a massive thunderstorm all night. Like thunder, like so much rain, torrential. But we woke up this morning and it's a beautiful day. Feeling better. So we're gonna go now to the juicery cafe. So I am dying for something nice to drink. I'm so dehydrated from last night. We decided to go for the caramelized pear on the sardo. Granola bowl, which today is on sardo. And you get a little shot as well. All for about five dollars, which is actually no, this was five dollars. Yeah, and that was five dollars. Mm. We've just come down to this little spa it's called uh, Jiva Spa. It's just down in the main town center of Pokhara, not by the lake, and we're going to get a massage. But we're just very low on energy. I think we've just been traveling a lot the last few days. Time difference as well to Sydney is like four and a half hours. In the evenings, when it gets to about nine p.m., we're just totally exhausted because it's like one o'clock in the morning back home. So I think jet lag's still adjusting, adjusting to diet, even like things like the water. So apparently Mickey has found the biggest mosquito in the world. Look, look. Yeah, that is the least mosquito in the whole entire world. I don't know if it's a mosquito though. It is, it's flying. Tell me it's all the big food that's in your heart. No, seriously, <laughs> is it? Yeah. It's big. So this is our first traditional Nepalese massage. So first thing in water. Good water. This is to wipe your face and hair. Oh, thank, thank you. you. So much. Is it bottled water? Yeah. Oh, that's so good actually. Oh, it's got lavender in it. Oh, we've had a big day. <laughs> you keep saying that, all we do is give breakfast. Big day of doing nothing. How relaxing is this? This is a real treat yourself, Maya. $25 each. No, $35 each, yeah. For a 90 minute massage though. Yeah. It's pretty Yeah, it's pretty good. Time to relax. Out of ten? How was that massage? Eight. That's all you put to say. Yep. I got only here now. That was 90 minutes of absolute bliss. So good. And it wasn't too strong either. They did like a medium uh, pressure. I feel a bit more energetic, a bit more lively. We just had some green tea after. The next step we have to do is we have to go find our tour guide for the Annapurna circuit trek. But first we need to go and get a coffee. There we go. We went for some double chocolate cake. Oh, mm. Straight in. How is it? Good. We have visited to trekking shops so we went to ethical trekking and then we went to trekking nepal and they give us information about the guides the prices the jeeps so we're going to sit down now and um, plan out which guy, uh, company we'll go with can we, it's okay to sit here yeah you can sit there and then as well as we have upstairs upstairs it's greenery and peace on peace no music like ah yeah that's what we need thank you <laughs> that's what we need chill a bit quieter no music This cup is so big. Cheers. Yum, it's good. Three dollar cocktail. You know? It's yum. It's really good. It's fruity. Okay, so one thing whenever you do come to Pokhara, it's um, it seems like it's happy hour all the time in every <laughs> bar, <laughs> everywhere you go. So whenever you buy one cocktail, you always get one free. So we ordered Tiki Tiki, and this is how they come. And it's t this bar is called Tiki Bar. So it's on the main the main strip in in Pokhara. So basically, we're just gonna plan, and then we're gonna decide which tour company to go with for our trek in Annapurna. <laughs> Okay, so we are booked with Ethical Trekking in Nepal. We did it. Okay, we did it. Yay. <laughs> so we um, we went with a guy he's called Krishna, and he's the owner of uh, Ethical Trekking in Nepal. So we decided to go with him. Yeah, got good vibes from him. As we walked past, we just kind of thought that would be the right one to do. So we went in, had a chat with him, and he was really nice, really helpful, super knowledgeable. And yeah, we got it booked. So. All up, really, it was a thousand US dollars, pretty much, for both of us. Uh, for Mickey and I, we got the porter, we got the guide, we got private transport to and from as well, to the starting and the end point, and then back to Pokhara. So, really good, glad we get we got it sorted, and time for some dinner. So, we're gonna go to Ort 2K, with OR 2K. Hi. There's falafels, hummus, tzatziki, Israeli salad, and pita. Lovely Middle Eastern meal. We are done, we're going home. Wait, catch this up. 
fresh juice tomorrow. <laughs> you look so similar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's next? You do the bargaining with the taxi, there's one there. You see on a walk a bit. The dreaded part of the night, the taxi bargaining part of the night. So yeah, one thing with the taxis in Nepal, they don't put the meter on for you, so you just have to negotiate with them. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like button, comment and share. I will see you tomorrow for another day in Pokhara. Thanks again and good night.